Hey guys, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as the Soviet Union. And um, before we go ahead, I decided that we're going to use our political power points to uh, uh, well, fabricate a new claim here or justify a war goal on Afghanistan because I want to go to war with both of these nations. Now, it's going to take quite a long time, but it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, I'm going to take them over anyways. Now, as soon as uh, the world tension hits 15%, we're actually able to go for... Uh, the war economy and that's what I want so yeah by that time um, well the Republican Republican Spain is soon enough going to take over all of this and um, then we'll have enough power points to actually change our economy this is the first thing that I want to do um, but yeah okay everything looks fine so far okay yeah we just basically need to take over Cordoba and Sevilla uh, I might want to wait a little bit although actually I, I don't think I do okay one of you can take out these guys you can take out them that's fine just do it like that I might lose some lot or I might lose some troops here but that that is okay that is okay actually I do probably want to finish this war quicker uh, simply because okay we can go like this I guess Cadiz is there as well that's only one victory point um, yeah he's trying to stop me but uh, I don't think he's gonna do a good job yeah, he, he's not doing it. Do, yeah, he's not doing a good job at all. Okay. Yeah, he, they tried to stop us here. I think I... Well, I don't know if we can break through. Probably not. Let's wait here until our organization is a little bit better. Okay. And we are still fighting up there. Okay, we got this under control. Definitely under control. Okay, and just... I guess we're just going to now push here. Simple because we can. And you will go here. And then we'll let the rest... Uh, be taken over by Republican Spain. They could do something. I mean, after all, it's their country, right? We're going to entrench ourselves here. And then we'll start the attack. There's some... Oh, there's three Germans. Interesting. I could go attack them as well. Oh, yeah. We're not winning that. <laughs> we're not winning that. Um, But we could go ahead and try and attack them here. No? Okay. Okay. Well... In that case, you might as well take this all over. Oh, maybe this is fine. And then we just need to break through here. This is going to be the difficult part, I think. Yeah. So, this is all that's left. Okay, so how about I go over here and then have three tanks attacking. This tank definitely is going to help out. Or maybe we'll take Sevilla first. I would like to kill the Germans, obviously. That would be somewhat satisfying. And why are there still people here? I don't get it. Yeah, we're still still fighting up here. Kind of ridiculous. Let's get in there, man. Come on. Uh, but yeah, we're definitely getting a lot of experience. Nice. Okay, so they have been killed. So now, I guess we could send our tanks here. And then here, that's nice, just finish it off. And then we have two tanks here as well. Send them all in. And we're slowly winning. I wonder if this tank is going to be able... Yep, it's also got in there. Okay, uh, the games of the 11th Olympiad. The 11th Olympic Games were recently held in Berlin, Germany. Attended by athletes from 49 uh, different different uh, nations across the world. The uh, Summer Olympics are the first in history to have enjoyed limited live television coverage. Okay, so the German athletes saw the most success. Uh, Americans second with 34. Okay, well, we didn't really win much, it seems like. That's too bad. Okay, we're, we're now winning against. Oh, awesome. We're winning. Just make sure that these guys don't take over more things. I want to kill the Germans. That's, that's the most fun. Because they're going to be the biggest threat later on. Ah, they're already retreating. Not cool. And uh, Italy has taken over Ethiopia. Ooh, okay. But for some reason, that actually reduced the world tension. That's funny. Don't really know why or how. But yeah, oh, look at that. Look at the Germans wavering. We're going to crush them. Oh, they're retreating over there. That's not cool. I was hoping I could kill them. But yeah, it was to be expected. Let's attack. Let's attack here across the river. As soon as we make it in there, we should turn it around. 
actually, maybe we'll, we'll just help out here. Take over Sevilla. Because that's where probably the Germans are going, I think. Uh, the tanks are coming there. And Republican Spain took over more stuff. So 17% uh, percent, uh, world tension. So as soon as we have 150 political power, we'll be able to uh, get the war economy started, which is going to be awesome. So how long is this going to take? Is this Has this been shortened by the uh, world tension? Oops. What happened here? Um... 25th, no, still 25th of February. Ah, okay. Well, that's kind of annoying. The end of the Na uh, Spanish Civil War. With the surrender of the nationalist forces, uh, the Spanish Civil War has come to an end. Republicans have emerged victorious, and a new era has begun for Spain. Yeah, so uh, is it possible for you to become part of my faction? I don't think so. Well, actually, that's not that far away. If I improve relations, that would be great. You're not, for some reason, you're not recovering from a civil war. Oh, that's interesting, because usually they get that modified. Maybe they will at some point? That's interesting, because usually they have this negative 100, will not join faction because you recover from a civil war. Well, that is cool. I like that quite a bit. And we need to get ready to take care of these guys. Wow, we do not have enough men to actually cover this all. Yeah, the Red Army is over here. This is where most of my forces are. I have them here in my borders. What are you guys doing? Oh, you have nothing? I have not assigned you? I have assigned you. You just didn't participate for some reason. You all have stuff to do. You should, at least. Also, I've gotten rid of one of these uh, strange... strange things. Uh, uh, what's it called? One, yeah, one of these templates that had uh, infantry and military police. I went, I, I got, got rid of that. Uh, Joseph Stalin questions Iranian sovereignty. Yep, that's what we do indeed, because we want to take it over. That's the plan. That's the plan. Um, okay, volunteer forces have uh, arrived. There are my volunteers. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to put you in this one. And you are going to... I'm going to send you here. For now. And, uh, well, actually, what kind of terrain is this? This is all mountain. Mountain, mountain, mountain. Well, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Here is what we're going to do. This... Uh, no, the steps. You, the border patrol. I'll uh, stop this. You don't need to protect this all. You can, however, start a front line here. That's why I want you. And uh, I guess you guys, Kebab Devourers, yes, I think that's a great name. But we'll uh, we'll make you start a front line here as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Lovely. And then we have our planes. We should probably start uh, start doing something with them. We definitely want them to be here, here, and here. And I don't need this crap. Those are 500 fighters that we will have over uh, Iran. And I want air superiority, that's for sure. Interception, not really necessary, I don't think. Actually, I hope that these guys will be able to get here as well. You're still waiting for orders. You cannot get there? Is that it? Yeah, you cannot. Okay. Well... And this, actually, in that case, you know what? I am probably going to get rid of you, because I don't need you. What I will do, though, is, uh, actually, 100 might be good for Afghanistan. Yeah, but I will uh, probably just have you here. Yeah. One, and then another one. And you will also go to Iran, because we're going to attack them first. Lovely. 25th of uh, January or February. 25th February is when we get when we get that. Come on, Republican Spain, I want you to be part of my uh, faction here. So we're improving relations with them. World tension is helping out. Oh my God, this is actually this is close. We might be able to get them into our faction very soon. As soon as we're at war, by the way. I mean, they might get drawn into that. But they shouldn't really, you know, care all that much. 
Uh, we're not getting much power. We have veteran difficulty, socialist realism, boosting ideology in France, improved relations with the Republic and Spain. Yeah, maybe that wasn't the best idea. Although, although next election is in full... Yeah, this is actually a good idea. If we could get France to be communist, that'd be nice. That would help us out quite a bit. As I said, you know, I, I will take over several states. Um, probably the Baltics and, and parts of Poland. Um, I will vassalize a lot of, or will puppet a lot of nations. And, uh, well, for the most nations, though, uh, like France, for example, if they want to become part of the common ten by just being communist, that's also fine. I don't need to conquer everything. In fact, I find that rather boring, actually. So, yeah. Um, you have some cavalry there. Yeah, they can stay there. I don't really need them. A lot of cavalry here as well. Have our tanks arrived yet? I think they're still on their way. Yep. Okay. Now they are, yeah, definitely our strongest. Strongest force so far. These guys are not as experienced. That's okay. Definitely want to have the field hospital soon. Okay, so there goes socialist realism. So now we have a lot of points. And that means I can modify my government. And I want to go with a war economy first. Because that means much less consumer goods, uh, faster military construction speed. And then, well, the conversion cost, I don't care that much, but uh, definitely useful. Yeah, so go with that. And we still have a couple of points left. Uh, well, actually, we're going to have to go with one of this. So, um, we could go for the Great Purge that I don't really want. I think instead we're going to go with the Collectivist Propaganda, another political power. We gain national unity, and then we can go the Extra Research Slot, Infrastructure, Transformation of Nature... Um, yeah, it's all just going to give us political power. Uh, construction speed is also not bad. And women, women in aviation. This is just, yeah, this is good. We'll, we'll go with this. Awesome. All right, continue. Continue. So these guys I have just set up to actually protect our ports here in the Black Sea region, which seems to be working out quite well. Lovely. And what is Germany up to? What are you going for? Industrial effort. Two. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so Spain, you will be part of our realm sooner rather than later. How much more can we improve relations? We've improved relations by 50. So we can go for another 50? Yes, I guess. Um, that's probably not going to be enough. But as soon as we're at war, that should actually work, right? Shouldn't it? I imagine. When is this going to be done? 25th February. Alright, well, you know what guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera and we'll we'll just go ahead uh, fast forward off camera because I don't think there's anything else going on. Perhaps the Spanish, uh, the, the Chinese Civil War will happen, then I come back, but yeah, I don't think so. Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll see you guys in a second once we have, uh, once we're ready to go to war with Iran. So welcome back guys, and uh, it's the 24th February 1937, and uh, that means one day, it's only one, gonna, gonna, gonna take one more day until we can declare war on Iran. Now it's gonna be a couple more days until we uh, can actually fight Afghanistan as well, but that should not really be a big deal. I don't think anyone has... Uh, guaranteed their independence. Nobody has, so that's very good. We've also just finished our national focus, and I've been thinking about what I want to go with next. Now, if we go this, we uh, get some infrastructure that I don't know if I really need it. Uh, well, I definitely need it, but not at this point. And then we can go for some extra rubber as well as some political power. And, and on the other hand, we could go for uh, some more recruitable population and then the workers' culture. Now, I think that's what we want because we still need to build up our economy. So I feel like we're going to go this, uh, this route first and then maybe this. Uh, but yeah, for now, we're just going to go with this and see how things are going. And we have our extra research slot. Now, as you can see, I've been going for all of the in industrial stuff that we can go for. There's nothing in engineering we can really go for. So I think the next best would be some extra artillery. So let's go for some stronger soft attack here. That's going to help us out. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I have my war plans uh, drawn out already. We have four horses that are just going to quickly run into here. Then we have um, our ke kebab devourers uh, attacking Iran. And we also have our five uh, tank divisions here that I'm quickly going to send to the capital so that we can end this war 
fast, hopefully. That's the plan anyways. And then we also have our forces here to take over uh, I, uh, Afghanistan. Uh, but yeah, let's go forward and see. Uh, let's go faster, of course. And uh, yeah, let's wait for our uh, justification. So there it is. Conquering Azerbaijan has finished, so we can go to war. Now, here's the thing. Uh, how much will... Ten is this going to do anything? I don't think it will. I don't want to... Oh, this is actually... 8%, but that's 20. I don't think that should be enough for anyone to do anything, so... Uh, declare the war. We declare war on Iran, and no one should really help them out. We have air wings with no mission. Um, we have fighters. I want you here, in Iran. And I want you to do this stuff. Awesome. And uh, we should have air superiority here now. And we have our five tanks, and I want them to go straight for... Tehran. That's basically the plan. Um, and then and then we'll see what, what we do with them. Uh, but for now, that's the plan. Okay, so our troops are attacking. Our plans are working. Our horsemen are attacking over here. And then, uh, well, cavalry, I should say. And then we have our main force here. We should easily overrun them. At least, I, I hope we will. I guess what we could do, uh, depending on how fast our tanks are, one of this, these tanks will actually... I will send them here to quickly just cut them off, cut off our enemies here, uh, yeah, like this, like this, cut off our enemies, and um, just so that we can encircle them, that will be great, just so they can really, you know, not go anywhere, that be, that's the plan, alright, that did mess up our front line here a bit, but yeah, not too bad. Uh, we're actually facing some enemies here, but yeah, cavalry is going to be able to deal with that. Awesome. Yeah, I don't really... I, I think I'm going to full annex Iran, simply because... Well, I don't really want to do anything else. And Tanu Tuva want to join the war. Ah, uh, no. No, I don't want you to be in this war. I, there's just no need. Uh, it really does matter to me to have you in this war. Okay, now... Uh, one of you... You tanks... You probably can go and take some stuff in the south. Ishfahan is one victory point. That's one. You go here. And then you probably have another one. You. Can you please go here and then here? That'd be nice. And I guess here as well. And then someone please go there. Yes. You, for example. You please go here. And that should be all the victory points, all we need. Our cavalry here is, is, is pushing them back. Um, okay. And as soon as we can declare war well, Afghanistan, how long is going to take that? Oh, yeah. How long is it going to take for that? Uh, 30, 21st. 21st of March. Okay, so 19 days. That's fine. That's fine. And oh, wow, they're actually <laughs> holding us off here. I'm I'm surprised, kind of. Even though we should have air superiority here, and we do. Yeah, that's kind of strange, but all right, that, that, that's fine. I mean, we're going to win eventually. Eight divisions. Once we've, you know what, once you've taken that, you're just going to attack them. Uh, you're going to strike them in the rear, I guess. Yeah, and that should, that should help out quite a bit. Wow. They are fighting rather fiercely. I'm surprised. Why are they so good? What is it that they're... We have air superiority. I guess, yeah, you're, you're entrenched. I guess that does make sense. And uh, we have a river crossing. Okay, so we have a river crossing and these guys are entrenched. So that definitely makes sense. Okay, now we're actually met with some resistance over here. Okay, I see. Uh, and our horsemen are over here also uh, meeting some... That's fine, that's fine. I mean, I cannot annex you anyways before... Uh, I have declared war on Afghanistan because then uh, the world tension is probably going to be too high. And someone will, or Afghanistan will join someone's faction. And I don't want that, obviously. That would be, that'd be rather terrible indeed. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to help out here. Awesome. You guys move forward. Lovely. Okay, you will all die. Okay, that was relatively uh, convenient for us, I think. Um, how are my tanks doing? Do I have anyone? No. Not the, these guys are particularly skilled just yet. Let's have a quick look at this. Yeah, you're still not really interested in giving up. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. We can, I guess, go just faster. 
because it's not much going on. Is my tank moving still? We are. Uh, we just need to make sure that we do not run out of organization. Okay, you guys are attacking you. Okay, we're winning. Finally on all fronts. Good. Um, now, well, I actually wanted to finish this in this episode. I kind of did, uh, but I kind of I do want to finish this. Now, basically, the idea is I definitely want to take over Iran, but Afghanistan, I'm probably going to puppet. Simply, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I, I might as well. No, I might as well take him over. Um, but yeah, I think I will keep that for the next episode. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.